Hi everyone. No, today I'm not going to be singing some nursery rhymes to you. I am going to be showing you how you can bring storybooks like this to life. Now, lots of our children know the story we're going on a bear hunt, but what can we do just to make it a little bit more interactive, especially if you say my child doesn't like books. They prefer to watch the telly or play on the computer. They find books boring. No, books are a treasure, you know, where the children can use their imaginations. And it doesn't matter if you or the child can't read words as such, you can look at pictures. But also, have you seen that um, I'm wearing something a little bit different today? This is my story apron. So for the likes of a book like We're Going on a Bear Hunt, I might have, can you see what I've got in my pocket? It is a bear. Actually, I could use this in Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Have I got a Goldilocks somewhere? Oh, I do. And she was in my pocket with the la love heart on or it could have been in the spotty pocket or the one with spiders now if it was goldilocks and the three bears i can't get mummy bear and daddy bear into my pockets but they might be hiding behind my back i've got mummy bear here and daddy bear as well so it's using little props and thinking of different ways to use them. Now, I just made this out of an ordinary apron. I sewed some scraps of material on. You might have bits of old tea towel or toweling. You might have bits of felt lying around. Maybe an old dressing gown that's too small for your child or that's got rips in. Use things like that. And it doesn't matter if you can't sew because you can actually glue them on. Just glue around the edges. I have also got in this pocket a king. I wonder what story he belongs to. Hmm, can you think of a story that a king might be in? Or in this pocket, I've got one, two, two little pigs. I don't know a story with two little pigs, do you? But your child might say, no, it's three little pigs and the wolf that huffed and puffed and blew the house down. <gasps> I might have to look in my pocket and see if there's another one in there. Maybe you can find it. So you can be encouraging your child to look in the pockets for you. Now you can make your aprons as fancy as you like. You can make them so that the pockets actually tell the story of the well, tell the story of the story. You know, it might have the three little pigs on or Goldilocks. I've got another one in here. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's a frog. I wonder what story that is. I know it's the princess and the frog. You know, where the princess gives the frog a little kiss and he turns magically into a handsome prince. Just think how exciting and interactive you can make these stories. So, we've put on some photographs of how you can make a very simple story apron and bring it out now and again, or your child might like using it all the time. They might think of other ideas. The only limit is their imagination. So, all you do with a little, just a little apron is cut some squares of fabric, some white glue, like they would use PVA glue that you can buy in a shop. Or you might have a sewing machine, or you might be very good at hand stitching put them on and just let your imagination go riot and let the children perhaps choose what to go in the pockets you know and uh, just have fun enjoy books and bring them to life things like beauty and the beast that they've been watching on a film anyway so they might be more inclined to to listen to a traditional story like that but there's all sorts you know so the three little pigs cinderella jack and the beanstalk goldilocks and the three bears hansel and gretel that could be a bit scary that one now if you don't have toys i have a few which i use in my song bags you can actually draw pictures or cut pictures out from magazines or old books. 
and get the children to help you as well. Obviously, you wouldn't be supervising them while they're using a pair of scissors, but you could put cards or things in postcards and pull them out and get the, get the children, you know, encourage them to tell their own stories, perhaps make your own stories up. And in the next few weeks, we will be showing you some other ways that you can bring stories to life. So have a look on the Parenting Journey Facebook page. And I do hope you enjoy all the ideas that we're giving you for Storybook Day. Okay, bye.